Today we're going to continue with Project 1.8 Build-A-Body app and we're going to be focusing on our Reset Event Handler. Now with our Reset Event Handler, what we need to keep in mind is what criteria or requirements must we reset with that reset button. So what we're going to look at resetting with this is our global score needs to be set back to zero. And anytime we go ahead and reset our global score, we must also go ahead and set that score label back to show score zero. We will then also need to move all of our organ systems back to their original location. This means we'll need to move the brain, digestive system, respiratory system, as well as the urinary system back to those original X, Y coordinates. Once we do that, we will then need to make all of our placements visible. Since we've already set them to false, which means they would disappear, we'll need to take the brain, digestive system, respiratory system, and urinary system placements and turn their visibility to true. The last thing we're going to need to do is enable our organ systems, and that is the brain, digestive, respiratory, and urinary system. Back when we used our touch-up behaviors, whenever they would collide with the correct placement, we were setting those organ systems to be false when enabled, which means they will no longer be able to move. So by hitting the reset button, we're going to allow those organ systems to be dragged about the screen. Now, in order to update the user interface, we're going to need to insert a table arrangement below our horizontal arrangement that was added for our score label. In this table arrangement, we're going to go ahead and set the width to fill parent. We'll set the rows to one and the columns to three. We'll then need to go ahead and insert a button into that table arrangement. In the third column is where our button will be placed. We're going to set the font to bold the width of the button to 25% and the text will be changed to reset. Let's go ahead and take a look at our MIT App Inventor on how we would do this. Once you're in your MIT App Inventor, the next step is to go ahead and add that table arrangement. In order to do that, we're gonna go under the layout tab and we're gonna find that third option, which is table arrangement. We're gonna drop that table arrangement down below that horizontal arrangement or that score label that we previously placed. Once you drop that table arrangement in, notice that you now have a scroll bar that we can scroll down to see that arrangement. We're gonna change the properties of that arrangement so that the width is set to fill parent. Once we select okay, we are now able to go ahead and change the number of columns, which we're gonna to set to three, and the number of rows, which will be set to one. Once we have completed that, the next step is to go back to our user face in our palette. We're going to take our button and we're going to drop this reset button in the third column. So make sure we go over to the third column and drop that button in. From there, we're going to go ahead and select the font. We're going to make it bold. We'll leave the font size at 14. We're going to go ahead and change the width of this to 25%. Go ahead and select OK. You can go ahead and change the shape if you would like. I'm going to change mine to more of a rounded shape. And then we're going to go ahead and change the text so that it says reset. Make sure once you have changed those properties that we go back into our components tab and rename button one as reset button. Once you have done that, you can modify any of the properties for that button if you would like. You can make the button background a different color if you would like to do so, or you could just simply leave it gray. But now you should have a functioning button that we can use in our block view. Now that we have the user interface completed, the next thing to look at is our block view and the logic that we're gonna be using within that reset event handler. So what we want to do with our block view or in that reset event handler is we need to reset the score back to zero. Now, in order to do this, we need to set the global score to zero, but we also need to set the score labels text to score with a colon and then the number zero. This way our variable will be reading zero as well as our label. We will also want to move all of the organ systems back to their original locations. So we're gonna to need to call our organ systems to move to the original organ system X, as well as the Y coordinates. We will then need to make all of our placements visible. So we will need to set the organ system placement visible to true. We will then enable all of our organ systems as well. We disabled these back in our touch up event handler. So now we'll need to set the organ systems enabled to true when the reset button is clicked. So let's go ahead and take a look in our MIT App Inventor on how we would write our code. Now, once you're back in your MIT App Inventor, the first thing we need to do is to trigger an event to occur. 
We're going to do this by finding our reset button and selecting the when reset button is clicked event handler. Once you have that event handler selected, the next step is to go ahead and fill in the rest of those requirements or logic that we need to occur. The first thing we need to do is reset that score back to zero. So we're going to do that by resetting our variable first. So we're going to need to go ahead and select our set score or global score. And we're going to go ahead and plug in the number zero at the end. So this way my variable is set back to zero. Now, once we set the variable back to zero, we're going to also need to set that label as well so that we can see that on the user interface. So we're going to go ahead and find that score label and we're going to need to set the score label text to represent our score with a colon and then the number zero. So go ahead and grab a text block. We'll go ahead and type in score with a colon, space, and then the number zero. So this will meet the first part of our requirements in resetting the score. The next thing we need to do is to call all of those organ systems to move back to their original locations. So we're going to go ahead and find our organ system and we're going to go ahead and call it to move. Now be careful when doing this and make sure that you grab the organ system and not the placement. So we're going to find the move to block and we're going to need to duplicate this block a few different times and we're going to add all four of them in. Now be sure that you change each one of your call to move to. So we'll select the digestive system. We then need the respiratory system as well as the urinary system. Now once we go ahead and do that, the next step is to use those variables we created earlier to send them back to their original location. So we're going to go ahead into our variable drawer and we're going to grab our get blocks. And when we grab that get block, we're going to need to go ahead and duplicate that a couple times and add them into the correct slots. Now notice that we haven't actually changed any of these as of yet, because we want to make sure that when we flip them to the correct variable, we're selecting the right one. So for my brain, I'm going to need to go ahead and find the actual brain. So original brain X, and then my original brain Y. I'll need to do the same thing for the digestive system. So we're looking for the digestive system X and we want that word original in the front of that. So we want original digestive system Y. Respiratory system, we want respiratory system X, respiratory system Y. And then our last but not least is we have our urinary system X and the urinary system Y. We can go ahead and drop that in and now we've met the second part of those design requirements. The next thing we have to do is make our placements visible. So we went ahead in that touch up and made them invisible by setting them to false. So now we need to go ahead and find our placements. So I'm gonna find the brain placement and we're gonna go ahead down to the bottom and we're gonna find this set brain placement visible and we're gonna go ahead and change the logic to be true. So now we'll be able to see those placements. Again, you'll need to duplicate that three additional times and be careful before dropping this into the event handler. Make sure that we change them so that they represent the placement that we're looking for. So we're going to go ahead and use the digestive system placement, respiratory system placement, as well as the urinary system placement. We can then go ahead and drop that into that event handler. Now, the last thing we need to do is to find those organ systems again and we need to enable them so that they can move. So I'm gonna go back to my brain and I'm gonna go down to the bottom and we're looking for set brain enabled. And just as we did before, we're gonna go ahead and set this to true. So we're gonna drop that true logic block in there. And again, we're gonna go ahead and duplicate that three additional times. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and find the digestive system, the respiratory system, as well as the urinary system. Now we can go ahead and drop that into our reset button and we've completed what we need to meet as of right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at our app companion to see if our app is functioning correctly. Now, once you have your app companion opened up, what we need to do is just check to make sure that if we place the organ systems in the correct location, when we hit the reset button that we do see that all those placement dots reappear and that our organ systems do go back to the correct location. So we can do this by just simply taking those organ systems and dropping them onto the correct placement dots. And once they are located there, they should be locked into place. And we did test that during our last activity. 
Now that we have them in place, we want to make sure we can go ahead and reset them. They do go back to their original locations. They do have all the placements reappearing. And then we just want to check to make sure that we can still move any of those organ systems. Because one of the things we did was make sure that they were enabled. So it looks like our app is working correctly. Now in the next part of our activity, what we're going to look at doing here is taking all of our organ systems and centering them more on that human body. So we can see that they don't perfectly line up. So we're gonna go ahead and look at how we can readjust those variables in order to fit properly within that human body outline. 